processing photos, uh, isolating photos, uh, an analysis of what changes need to be made, be able to uh, capture and apply those settings to other photos. We also then talked about the core editor, the idea that maybe there's a, there's a, there's a few of your photos that you're going to need to go deep or want to go deep in, into them. And uh, again, the power of the tools that we have available uh, there, plus the, um, the enhanced new tools, plus the performance considerations. And then finally, we've talked about the project creator. So the, uh, looking at the, the available tools here, the ability that we have to make slideshows with HD video. We've got the posting to YouTube for the videos primarily. Um, and the, you know uh, obviously Facebook and Flickr and the other uh, for photos and you know video as 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 appropriate in that regard plus the other tools that we have here so uh, that's a quick overview of uh, of the application overall let me flip back here to our slides and look at what we've got what we've got um, Greg anything else we need to add there before we get into questions. I don't think so, Craig. I think I'd probably the, this is the right time to get in and ask questions and questions. We do have a variety of questions being posted. I think before we, we dive into that, I will, uh, and Evelyn's building that list for us right now, I thought I'd just say that, uh, again, many of you and uh, Craig, I think we have a slide on availability and pricing. If, if, if anyone on the, on, on the uh, webinar today wants to buy right away or they want to get more information, the place to go for that is Corel.com. Um, there's a special offer on again for $59, $59.99 through February 7th. You can access through Corel.com or through a link that we're going to email to you tomorrow um, or by calling our Corel customer service at 1-877-502-6735. That's 1-877-502-6735. And if you're new to uh, PaintShop, uh, you can get that product. That's, for, that's the upgrade price. If you're new to PaintShop, you can get it for $79.99, but again, only until February 7th, at which time prices revert to to $79 for upgraders and $99 for new buyers. Uh, boxes do start shipping on February the 8th, um, so if you want to get a box version, you can pre-order now for the same price I just mentioned as the download. And um, and really, if you're looking for any more information, I would encourage you to go to Corel.com slash paint shop, or even go to our YouTube channel where we have a number of... Uh, of introductory videos uh, posted. So if you want to go to youtube.com slash photo video editing, you will be able to uh, see a number of uh, videos, tutorials and so forth that introduce the new features of PaintShop Photo Pro X3. And also there's some videos there about Video Studio Pro X3 if that's of interest to you as well. So uh, I think we have some questions queued up right now, Craig, so let's dive back into those. The biggest bucket of questions we've had is actually about RAW. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna answer. Uh, I think there's two questions I want to ask you here, Craig. One is a sort of a catch-all question about what cameras we support. We've had questions about do we support RAW from Pentax, Fuji, uh, and Nikon D, the Nikon D90, and a, a variety of other cameras. Um, do you want to talk about how we support RAW? Yeah. So as an overview on the RAW support, uh, we've got a, a couple of things. First of all. We, we've gotten it to the point now where we have something in the order of 350 or 360 different raw formats that we support. Um, the, raw, the whole raw issue is, um, is a big one. It, it, it's a great format, great quality, lots and lots of options for, for loading and so on. Uh, so we want to have you know, stellar support in that particular area. Um, the reality is that every camera has its own uh, format. Uh, so we've partnered uh, to to get great support uh, for for each of those cameras. Every camera is 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 different. So the 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 Canon 20D, 30D, 40D. Those there's three different cameras. Different support uh, is required for each one of them. So we we we've got that number. Like I said, over 350 right now. And uh, we go back a long ways. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, of historical uh, camera support that we have um, multiple years back uh, that we've been able to, 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 to include in the application. We also have forward-looking support, and that is that uh, for those new cameras that are coming on the market or have just recently come on the market, uh, we will as quickly as possible get that support in line, we'll get it tested, get it integrated in a way that uh, 
um, that, that we know that it works. Uh, and then as far as the underlying mechanism we have in the application, we actually see the, the updates coming out as, as, you know, maybe there's a, you know, update to the application, but we have separate, a uh, separate update just for uh, raw support. And, and uh, by isolating it and making it a, a smaller module, being able to put it, put it such that we're only affecting the, the raw camera support and being able to add uh, cameras to that and test those cameras specifically, uh, we're able to iterate much more quickly on that and, uh, and to get those updates in, in, into the, the works a lot cleaner. Um, uh, again, in the past, uh, the way that that update was made was uh, required an overall application patch, and it just because of the because of the time it took to do that and to to validate that it it it, it took a a lot longer, and therefore you saw fewer iterative updates uh, of camera support for uh, the X2 or the X2.5 uh, version of the program. So in this case, we we're, we're We've made it so that we can we can be on top of that more quickly and uh, and be able to deliver uh, new camera support uh, very quickly and uh, and yes uh, as far as manufacturers go we support uh, all of the majors right now and uh, we're really uh, working on. Uh, the exact uh, exact list, and I think on the uh, customer support site, we will have a list of those uh, cameras that we support directly, that we that we've tested directly right now, uh, and that'll be up shortly. And uh, but otherwise, yes, all the major cameras, and uh, up until just the most recent releases, have been uh, checked for support, and we have sample files from from uh, all of those cameras that we run through our test procedure. Uh, and if it's a brand new camera that's just come on the market uh, very, very recently, um, you know, the support will be in there very soon. And I'll actually offer up the, uh, the URL for our support site here at Corel. It's corel.com slash support. So fairly easy to remember. That is corel.com slash support. And uh, that's where we'll be listing a lot of that information. Um, another question for you. Someone, uh, we have one, uh, one user here who's playing a little bit of hardball here. Craig, he wants to know what, how, the, how the new version compares to Photoshop CS. And I might op open that up and let you talk a little bit about how it compares to Elements as well, because obviously that's going to be something that people are thinking about. Right. Well, um, the, the core application uh, has uh, always kind of feature for feature reviewed well against uh, uh, against CS. Uh, it's much more of the, the type of application uh, that you see in in the core over there. You know, CS4 and CS3 have uh, additional advanced features. Again, you, that I think it's an individual question on 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 uh, what types of features that you you're going to be needing in your experience. Um, I find that the application has a very rich library of adjustments and enhancements and uh, all of the traditional things that I work with from from filter support um, through uh, layers through different uh, different types of masking and adjustment uh, I, I find the application is great at all of those so um, you know uh, it, it comes to up to the consumer to decide uh, which one that they the, has the, the tools that they need and uh, at what level and uh, and certainly uh, you know the CS uh, series is is a is a fantastic uh, product set uh, on the elements front again uh, very very good product um, lots of interesting uh, features um, I, you know I, as far as my preference right now maybe I'm a little biased on this but uh, I like the tight integration that we have. Uh, between our organizer and our main application, uh, and the fact that I pretty much am able to switch back and forth, as you saw me in the demo, where I'm uh, always looking through my file set, uh, browsing it cleanly with my with my uh, organizer, and then just click, and I'm in the editor, and click, I'm back in the organizer, and so on. So, um, again, uh, Adobe's got fantastic products. Uh, I believe that we uh, we in uh, certainly in this version have. Uh, have a very very strong offering, and uh, I would uh, I would just say you know consider what, consider the types of things that you're going to be doing, consider the features that you need the most of, um, and uh, you know uh, look at look at the one that best fits your needs. I think uh, as far as uh, a lot of the consumers that um, that I know, a lot of the enthusiasts that I know that are that it, that are um, uh, looking for uh, this type of tool. Uh, it's, it, it fits their needs very well, um, and uh, and it's actually uh, well well suited for for their needs. And you know, again, 
evaluate carefully and, and uh, um, I, I think you'll find that we uh, we fit your 